What an out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's 612 in the AM, and before I get into the wonderfulness and the okayness that happened in DFS, let me get into my positive word. And my positive word for today is respect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that um, the younger generation need to work on this. Um, I don't see a lot of respect when I'm walking outside, when I'm walking down the streets. Um, like when I'm in New York, when I'm on the trains, I cannot stand getting on the train and you're playing your music. You know you're annoying people. You don't have headphones in. Show respect. You got an older person sitting beside you that don't want to hear two chains or whatever whack new rapper you listening to because yes all these new rappers are whack except kendrick lamar so stop listening to all of that garbage on a train if you want to listen to it fine put your headphones in show respect to your woman you know honor the woman that you're with you know make her feel special let her know she's a queen if you're dating somebody that you can't respect then then leave that person and find somebody you can respect women Start respecting yourselves. Men do not look at women that's half naked as wives. You keep posting half naked pictures on Facebook, posting all of your personal business on Facebook, you're not respecting your relationship. And that's why you keep ending up single. And that's why girls keep stealing your men because you telling your girls everything you do with your man. So respect the man you're with and respect the woman that you're with. All right? And respect yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm going to leave it there with respect. All right, so let me get into my DFS. All right, so let me recap the four horsemen last night, guys. Um, Manahi, the pitcher from Oakland, gave us 43. That's phenomenal. Lowry, Kemp, and Yelich, they act like they playing for the Baltimore Orioles. Like, they representing the O's. They gave us three zeros. All three of these guys are in witness protection. They stole money. They didn't want to play. These guys, they owe us. They owe us one. But you know what they say about great players. They don't put up two stinkers back to back. All right, guys. So um, let me break down a few of the lineups that I had yesterday. All right. I'm going to tell y'all, um, whoever had lineup two, that was my best lineup. It came in at a 130. Um, now, let me say this. In lineup three, lineup one, and lineup four, I actually had Herrera from um, Philly and Althar in all those lineups, guys. But I took those guys out because they was talking about it was possible weather. So I was like, do I want to have four bad lineups? And I did my homework well. Herrera put up 40. Altho put up 37.7. Because in lineup three, I didn't have Duvall in. I put him in last minute. I had Herrera in that spot. So that lineup came in at 88. You put Herrera in there so at, at that 40.6. Now you had a 128.6 and you win. And I had Althair in there instead of Kemp. You had that 37. Now you had a 167. So all my lineups would have been about a 155. But, like I told you, the only thing that destroy lineups and that I create is weather. And I always tell you guys the truth. All right, so the, um, lineup two, um, the two best plays of the night. If you didn't have Herrera and Althair in your lineup, you probably didn't cash. I did pick Rendon. He gave us 30.9, and I had McCain. He gave us 34.6. So I'm going to get better today, and I'm going to bounce back, guys. All right, so that's enough about those lineups. I am on to today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so today, today's four horsemen is Archer. He has a 3.74 ERA. He's at home. Now, Archer is pitching for the number one home run hitting team in Major League Baseball. I don't know if y'all knew that. That's a stat for y'all. Tampa Bay... Leads the leagues, lead the majors in um, home runs. And he's going to get a lot of home run help today. So he's my pitcher. Um, Atuvo is not going to have two bad days. So I'm picking him as second baseman. Outfielder Zimmer. Now he plays for Cleveland. He's a left-hander. Everybody knows in Colorado that long ball is a reality out there. He'll pop one for us today. And I love Duda. Duda has a, a 2.69 ERA. And he's going up against a pitcher making his first major league pitch i mean his first major league start that's not good going up against duda he's going to destroy this guy all right so that's that guys um for my four horsemen now let me just say this guys 
Um, I want to thank everybody who um, who subscribed to me and everybody that's watching this video. If you made it this far, hit the like button because I know you like what I did. And subscribe. I mean, I give y'all good knowledge. And a, and a guy asked me how do I feel about stacking players. Okay, this is how I feel about stacking players. Find the game that you absolutely love the best and stack those players and then, you know, do the rest of your lineups that way. I do like stacking players, but some nights stacking players is not a good thing. You have to know matchups. You have to, like with me, I study Major League Baseball two hours a day. So sometimes you'll see where I'll have four players from one game, one one team. Some nights you'll see me one player from each team. It depends on the matchups. All right, so I hope I answered your question, guys. So if you like what I did, hit the like button, subscribe to me. Follow me at Vaughn the Statman on Twitter. And don't forget when when if a guy's helping you.